Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. The best pre-wash, snow foam, traffic film remover, citrus pre-wash, whatever you want to call them. We've got nine recommended and slightly different products here in the lineup and we are going to be putting them through a grueling set of tests where we look at how effective they are at cleaning, how well they clean and foam up on the car, um, their impact or the, their corrosiveness to steel components um, and also their value for money. And as well as these lab style tests, I've been using all these products for the last six months over winter and talking about them to form an opinion in this video. There can be only one winner. Which one is it gonna be? Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel, guys. Before we get stuck into this, a couple of things. One, as always, please show your support by pressing that subscribe button. Or if you want to go a step further and you feel like you get a lot of value out of these, you can join our Patreon community and support the channel for as little as $1 converted into whatever currency you're in um, a month. And you can cancel whenever you like. And that helps me do this. In this particular test, we have got nine products from around the world. As always, it's important for me to state whether or not I buy these or they're sent into the channel so you can get a view on how biased or how not biased I am. In this one, it's quite simple. Every single product here was purchased apart from that one, which was sent in kindly by Koch a while ago with some other products. So you know what I've paid for and what, what I haven't. So you can make your own opinion on whether I'm biased or not. Um, the next thing is, guys, I need to talk about what a pre-wash is and how I'm judging these. For me, a pre-wash is a product that you use prior to going in and doing your contact wash with a wash mitt and shampoo. As you know, that contact phase of cleaning removes dirt by shifting it around. So the, the theory is the more dirt you can remove in a contactless way prior to doing that contact, then the less scratching that you're gonna put on your car. The argument with everything in life is this extra step takes time and some, some people feel it's not um, that important, not that essential. Other people that um, have got very well-maintained, corrected, clear coat would argue, including myself, that it's one of the most important things you can do to maintain the finish on your car. But there is a big difference in function, approach and performance of these products. Test one, corrosion to steel. Our cars are covered in amphoretic ferrous steel components that are prone to oxidization. For example, steel alloy brake discs, brackets and nuts and bolts, mild steel exhaust sections, and even down to actual car panels that even though they've got a paint system on them, when you get a stone chip, again, you have exposed steel that can rust. So in this test, we take all the products in their raw neat form, put a thin layer of it over some test steel plates and observe the rate of oxidization and rusting. So first up, here's what the test panels look like after 24 hours of the products being applied. Control piece that was covered in water, no corrosion. Turtle wax hybrid snow foam, some signs of light corrosion. Meguiar's Ultimate Snow Foam with signs of heavy corrosion. Kochkemi GSF with signs of moderate to heavier corrosion and some staining. Autogland Spritzer, corrosion free. Wax Planet 8 Below, corrosion free, but two little patches of product staining. HDD Road Rage, corrosion free. Autoglands Brute, corrosion free. EZ Car Care Sub Zero Corrosion Free. Finally, PowerMax TFR Corrosion Free as well. And now the test plates you're looking at are fast forwarded after five days. Turtle Wax the same with some light corrosion. Meguiar's is the same with heavy corrosion. Koch GSF, the corrosion level has now gone to heavy. Autogland Spritzer, still corrosion free. Wax Planet 8 Below, still corrosion free. HDD Road Rage, small spots of corrosion. Autoglands Brute, virtually corrosion free, just one or two tiny dots. 
EZ Sub-Zero some noticeable small spots of corrosion. Powermax TFR, virtually no corrosion. Those little dots were there at the start. And take five seconds, guys, to see the final results of the corrosion testing. So top three performers, Powermax TFR, Wax Planet 8 Below and Auto Gland Spritzer. And the poor performers were Koch and Maguire's. Test two, foaming and cling. So here you can see all the products from when they were applied through to over five minutes later when they're starting to thin out. It goes without saying, although I'm going to say it anyway, that not all products are designed to foam up and cling. So as always, we break these tests down and you can disregard the tests that you're not interested in. Out of the three TFRs, Powermax TFR was the least foamy, followed by HDD Road Rage, followed by Brute. But we probably don't care too much about that. The two disappointing products from a foaming point of view were Koch GSF and Turtle Wax, where I believe you have to use a lot more product than they state to get a reasonable level of foam. Here you can see some closer up shots of the products just after they're applied. This is Powermax TFR. This is Koch Chemi GSF, which is a bit thin and a little bit patchy. This is Turtle Wax Hybrid Snow Foam 75mm in the Lance, and again a little bit thin and patchy. HDD Road Rage is starting to look a bit thicker and a little bit less patchy, but nothing to write home about. Very similar to HDD is the Auto Glands Brute, just the foam that was produced stuck around for a little bit longer. Next up with a big step up in foaming performance is EZ Zub Zero, and this is on application, a lovely thick layer of foam. Didn't quite last as long as the others, but a good performance. And next up in third place with even thicker, more clingy foam was Autoglans Spritzer. Second place with whipped cream, gel-like, thick foam, very impressive. One of the foamiest products I've seen is Meguiar's Ultimate Snow Foam. And the winner with the thickest, most gel-like foam that clung longer than all the other products and at a lower concentration is the Foamtastic Wax Planet 8 Below. And here are those final rankings on foaming and cling in a nice list so it's easier to get your head around them. Test three, cleaning power. So this test is quite simple. We section off our white test panel. We try and lay an even film of our dirt simulator, which sounds complicated, but actually just contains lots of the components that you would find in road film. You know, even, even down to mud, a little bit of petrol and solvents uh, and water and things like that. We then mix all the products down to a 5% concentration, mix up and stir this solution so it's evenly dispersed, and then pour that liquid over a test section and allow it to lie there, wetting the dirt simulator for five minutes. After this, we do a low pressure rinse on that test section and observe how the dirt simulator is removed. And we repeat the test for each section. So here you can see the results for turtle wax. That's rinsing off the solution. And here's the results for Maguire's. And here's the results for Koch Chemi GSF. These are all the close to pH neutral products. These three products had little or no observable ability to remove the dirt simulator and came joint last. Next was Powermax TFR, which had a slightly improved ability to lift off some of the dirt, although it's hard to pick up on camera. And after that, EZ Sub-Zero, where just a few patches of it were starting to lift, but it didn't have a massive impact. And then next up was Auto Glands Brute. And here you can see the pre-soak. And then when we do the rinse down, um, the dirt was lifting more than the EZ and the Power Maxed. Then in third place, Auto Glands Spritzer. This is what I wanna see when these solutions go on. Look, 
When that rinse water hits it, you can see that the product has started to break down that film and the rinse water is taking the dirt off. Um, so significant dirt removal there and the first real true pass in this test. Then in second place, HDD Road Rage. Again, you can see the dirt being lifted as the rinse water hits it. And when you can compare the two, it actually, in my opinion, took a little bit more dirt off than Spritzer. And finally, guys, the winner, Wax Planet 8 Below. Look at that. The results speak for themselves at the same concentration. That is clearly lifting the most dirt off the entire section. So that is the winner in our dirt cleaning simulator test. And I'll just leave this shot up at the panel, guys, so you can have a look at all of the products, all the test strips, and uh, make any observations. You can see a little bit of cross-contamination over on the left there with the Kochi. Um, but other than that, the results I'm giving you, I think, are just about right. I am factoring in a little bit real-world testing as well, but primarily, it's the dirt simulator that this is based on. Test four, cost per wash. Important note, I've based this test on the amount of product I believe you need to use in a one liter snow foam for this product to be effective. In last place, Meguiar's Ultimate Snow Foam with a cost per wash of around three pounds based on using 160 ml of product in a one liter lamp. And unfortunately guys, no matter how cool this product is, and it is cool, that price point, a bit like P. Diddy's Aftershave, is unforgivable. In eighth place on value is Powermax TFR. I believe in a one litre lance, you need to use at least 500 mil of this product, in fact, possibly even more, to hit around about a 4% PIR, which yields a cost per wash of around one pound 70 in the same comparison that I'm doing with all the products. That's quite expensive, even though this product is cheap, and that's why it's ended up down at the bottom. Next up in seventh is Turtle Wax Hybrid Snow Foam with a cost per wash of about 90p, but I believe you need to use about 125 millilitres of this in your litre snow foam lance. In sixth place, Autogland Spritzer, based on using 100 mil in your snow foam lance, which will cost you around 86p per wash. And in fifth place, EZ Car Cares Sub Zero, based on using 90 millilitres in your one litre snow foam lance, which will cost you around 72p per wash. Then in fourth place, Koch Chemi GSF, based on using 50 mil, which is where I think you need to be, which will cost you 70p a wash. And in third place, Wax Planet 8 Below, based on using 90 mil in your snow foam lance, which will cost you around 49p per wash. Next up in second, Auto Glands Brute, based on using around 120 mil in a litre snow foam lance, yielding around 48p per wash. And in first place, HDD Road Rage, based on using 50 millilitres in your one litre lance, yielding a fantastic 17p per wash. Bargain. Okay guys, so you've got all the results there in the final rankings, but I just want to run through all of these products quickly and just give you a quick summary of them. First of all, these are the three pH neutral type products, if you like, but haven't done well on the cleaning. I can't separate these products on cleaning because I can't even measure their impact. They don't have, they have no effect on my dirt simulator on the test panel and when I use them out in the field I don't see a massive impact on road film and dirt and that's what I'm looking for from pre-washes. Now these three companies have been around for decades and it, it's more about approach, it's not beyond their wit to be able to create a pre-wash which is aggressive but it's just not what their aim is for these products so they've made them mild by design and they will know more than me about why they've done that but it's not what I'm looking for. One other downside about pH neutral products is they have no natural ability, like an alkaline, to inhibit rusting and corrosion. So any components in here that are slightly corrosive are not inhibited by any alkalinity. So you see the corrosion occur 
on the test panels on ferrous components. And I'm also looking for pre-washes which don't promote corrosion. Right, specifically the Meguiar's product, for me, there's two things I don't like about it. The price is phenomenal and the price for the price per wash is extreme, and that's the showstopper for me. I also don't like the way it's kind of all going turbid and bitty. It's almost forming into little balls of soap in the bottle. So it does deliver on its extreme snow foam and its extreme cling side, but that's not what I'm personally looking for in a snow foam product. So it's a no for me on the Meguiar's, but I've enjoyed using it. The Turtle Wax is kind of priced a bit more sensibly. In fact, it's decent value. Its downside, again, is its lack of cleaning power. I also believe you have to use a lot more than Turtle Wax Specify to get the most out of this. Um, this product as well, it's not quite as luxurious. If you look at their Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Shampoo, it's so much more better packaged and more desirable. This is kind of like, almost feels like their entry level soap. Nothing wrong with it, but as a pre-wash, it's not powerful enough. Koch Kemi Gentle Snow Foam. The cool thing about this is you're only supposed to use 20 mil of it. Snow Foam, pour 20 mil into one liters of water in your foam sprayer. So that's a snow foam, okay? Now, you, if you take those instructions as they say, 20 milliliters, that's hardly anything, and that's not enough. Um, I wonder if they've got their language wrong there and they mean the pump sprayer. But in a snow foam lance, that is not enough for me. And it, even on my system that's got a ton of pressure, it doesn't foam up enough. You have to get it closer to like 50 mil, I think, to get it to foam properly. This product as well does not have enough cut. Now, Koch Kemi will say, ah, oh, but we've instructed you on the bottle that if you want to remove road film with it, you add Green Star. It's their, their APC to the product, and then that gives you more cleaning power. Great, but in this test, I can't measure this by how well it works with another product. I have to measure it as standalone. So it's a no for me on GSF. It's too mild to function as a pre-wash on its own. Next up, the first of the TFRs, PowerMax TFR. A lot of people were praising this product quite highly. Now, first of all, the more I've used this stuff over winter, the more I've realized that it helps me clean the car, even if it's not stripping the dirt off quite as well as I'd like it to in all cases. But say for example, I pre-soak my alloy wheels with it, um, and then I go in and clean them, and then the other side of the car, I don't pre-soak with it, I get better results where I use the TFR, because it's effective, it's breaking down, it's softening you know, the film and the brake dust and all that sort of stuff. My one problem with PowerMax TFR, and other people that really like the product have commented on this, is that you do have to use it at its maximum ratio, which is closer to one to 10 PIR, roughly. So one to 10 in a pump sprayer, you know, which is about 50-50 in a snow foam lance, and then it starts to become really functional. But at that sort of volume, you fly through the product. So it's my thoughts that, the PowerMax TFR isn't quite as concentrated as perhaps the, the HDD Road Rage, and therefore its value for money isn't actually as good on the surface as it appears, because it's, it's well priced at about 17 pounds for five liters, but it's, it's not as concentrated, so the value isn't there. So, decent product. The Achilles heel is you've got to use more of it to get the poke. Next up guys, EZ Car Care Sub-Zero, which is a foaming citrus pre-wash. I didn't have any problems with the foaming on this. I thought it foamed fine at the, the recommended usage ratio. I thought it was kind of average on cleaning power and, and EZ were describing it as a kind of step up in cleaning power from their basic kind of snow foam. So I was a little bit disappointed with the cleaning power, but it does have more cleaning power than a normal pH neutral snow foam, in my opinion. Um, the thing to discuss about this EZ car care is their pricing. That's the interesting thing. There's two sides of looking at this. They're what I call a kind of discounter where they're doing, if you look at their RRPs, and this is a classic example, it's 40 quid for five liters of this product. That, in my opinion, is phenomenally expensive. But you, there always seems to be an active discount code where you can get it like down to 30 quid. 
so at 30 quid it's it's average kind of value and then like once every couple of months they seem to do a discount where they give you five liters of this stuff for like 16 or 17 quid which i think is very good price and good value but then it makes it hard for me to review it because other companies could do discounts as well but they're not like a discounter so some people will like the whole discount thing and brands that do discounts and some won't uh, it depends how you see it because the glass is either half full or half empty because part of me thinks if i pay 40 quid for this and they're also selling it for 17 then i've paid too much money so that's my thoughts on this it's a decent product if you can get it for 17 quid uh, it's worth a look but i wouldn't pay 40 quid for it Next up in the test guys, coming forth, so we're getting into the higher echelons, is the Auto Glands Brute Contactless Wash. I'll keep it very quick with this. I sort of see this as a bit like a TFR. It doesn't foam up well. I think it's probably best used in a sprayer. You can go around, spritz it on at about 20 to one. It can go up to 10 to one. Um, but I think it's a little bit more powerful than the Power Max. And it did well on the dirt simulator and it's done well the times I've used it over winter on road film. Um, it's a little bit on the thin side. I'd be, I want to see how well it behaves in summer when the risk of these thinner products kind of drying out has increased. I do typically want a pre-wash that's suitable for using in a lance more than the pump sprayer. That's my personal kind of requirement. But as a trade tool, this is ticking a lot of boxes um, and the price is right and it is quite powerful although nothing can ever be a fully contactless cleaner in my opinion next up coming third in this test and my favorite tfr in the lineup hdd road rage the new green one which is slightly less caustic than their previous blue version of road rage the cool thing about all our tfrs power max auto glands and hdd is that price point of 17 pounds for five liters but this one it's maximum concentration ratio so in other words don't go beyond this because it'll be too powerful is 20 to 1 which is twice the concentration ratio of these other two products this product when i use it at the same concentration ratio performed better on the dirt simulator and from using it over the winter a few times i feel that it has an edge of cleaning on these particular products so it feels like it's perhaps slightly more concentrated coming up in second place guys auto gland spritzer foaming citrus pre-wash i know this product well i've been using it for years i've gone through quite a few bottles of it let's just keep this very simple the negatives are the price point even though it's a high concentrate and you can use it as little as 250 to one you need to use it higher than that for it to be effective. I tend to use it about 2% PIR in a foam cannon, you know, in attached to pressure washer, and it's fantastic like that. It's just like using a foaming, you know, uh, snow foam, it's great. You can also, this is a versatile product, you can use it as a wheel cleaner if your wheels are well maintained. It's great for like cleaning out soft tops at lower concentrations, you don't want too much, too much foam, foaming going on there. It can also be used as kind of like a very mild APC down at uh, um, sort of, you know, 200 to one. Um, but it's great, you can clean your tires with it. You can clean all sorts of stuff with this. Very versatile product. Did well in the cleaning test. Did well in the anti, you know, it's not particularly corrosive on steel. It is just a great all round product. I wish it was a little bit cheaper. Again, auto glands do do discounts on it. So sometimes you can get it for closer to around 30 pounds, maybe even less, which I think is where I want to be with it. Another thing with this product I talked about earlier on is limonene is the important ingredient that I want to see in a citrus pre-wash. And when you buy this product, when it gets colder in winter, you can see like this kind of layer of product in there, which is thicker than the rest of the liquid. And I believe that is the limonene because I've got some limonene and it seems to go a bit thicker when it gets cold. So that reassures me that it's got a decent level of limonene in it, which is the active ingredient, which is expensive. So I trust that this is kind of like a high quality product and it's done well to come second. It would have to be cheaper to win this test but it was knocking on the door. Very cool product. If you've not tried a foaming citrus pre-wash before and you like the sounds of it, I highly re recommend Auto Glands Spritzer. Finally guys, the winner. Waxed Planet 
eight below, highly concentrated snow foam, an alkaline foaming snow foam. Right, the first thing, highly concentrated. Yes, even when you look at the product and they're all mixed down at 5% in these, in these little um, plastic glasses, it just, it does look more concentrated than all the other ones. When you use it at 10 to one, it is still the thickest foaming, highest clinging product in this test. Even more so than the Meguiar's, which is very thick, but you use that at five to one. So you use it at half the concentration of the Meguiar's and it's still thicker and clings more. So it's a great foaming wash. If you like cling, you might like to work and do some brushwork while you're kind of, um, while that snow foam's sitting there. Some people like to do that. So if you like a foaming thick pre-wash, you're gonna love this. It won the cleaning power test, where they're all at exactly the same ratio, cleaning exactly the same simulated dirt film, and it is a tough order for any product to be able to clean that dirt film. This product clearly shifted that simulated dirt film off the easiest. Now, when I've been using it out in the field, so to speak, on cars in winter, um, I thought Spritzer and Brute and maybe even HDD and some of these other ones were more effective at clearing off some of the road film. But I was testing them at 1 to 25 in a pump sprayer where I tend to use this at 1 to 10 in a snow foam lance. So it's not a like for like comparison. 1 to 25 is 4%. 1 to 10 in the lance is less than 1%. It's probably about 0.7%. So I'm effectively using these about five times the concentration and then comparing them on performance to this. So you could argue that the one weakness of this product is that you can't go beyond its maximum concentration of one to 10, because it would just become ridiculously foamy um, and a waste of product and stuff like that. So you can't quite juice as much cleaning power out of it as some of these other products where you can up those, that concentration. But at one to 10, it offers a very good level of cleaning power at the same concentration, it is more powerful than all of these other products. It also did great on the rust inhibition. So whether it come there, it comes second there, so it's great, it inhibits rust. Uh, it is also, in value for money, it came fourth. I think it's about 27 quid for five liters. So it's a fair price and you don't use that much of it week in, week out. So quite simply guys, this product, a bit like Maggie Foam in our previous test, does everything well, and it is the worthy winner of this test. That is Wax Planet 8 Below Zero. Guys, thank you very much for watching. What do you think of the results? Have you used any of the products in this particular test? What are your thoughts of them? What are you looking for in a pre-wash product? Are you looking for LSP safe, pH neutral? Are you looking for fast acting, cleaning, value, high foaming? What do you want from a product? Are there products that you've used that are your favorites that are not in this test? Please be aware that we have run this best snow foam video before with a different lineup, including things like Built Hamber Auto Foam. We've done the same sort of test, so you could probably cross compare the results. I do not want to talk about the products in the previous test um, because I want to talk about the products in this test, in this test, which is what I've done. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care, stay safe, and there is loads more to come on the Forensics Detailing channel. So hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Holding on to what I knew But the moment's gone Where was I when you